On Channel 2's Michael Lepardi continues our live team coverage from Kima, where a restaurant called Swamp Shack looked like a literal swamp when that water started flowing in. Crazy scene, Michael. Well, that's right, Joe Monique, and the employees here, they spent the good portion of the afternoon just clearing out this lower level. The owner told me that the water was up to two feet at one point, which would be up to just about the top of this tire. I'm going to slowly walk down here because it's all muddy and a little slippery, but you see the parking lot slopes down here, and we're told it was even deeper down this way. First came the rain, then came the flooding. Safe to say, Crazy Allen Swamp Shack lived up to its name. Part of the restaurant was underwater. Luckily, it doesn't get into any of our equipment or it doesn't get up into the upper floor where our bar and kitchen is. But it still leaves behind a mess. And while Mother Nature brought the weather, owner Alan Franks believes his headaches are tied to issues with the city's drainage system. When the rainwater comes out of the drains, it's like a swamp. So I guess that's why they call it the swamp shop. Near Clear Creek High School, some drivers took their chances, others just took a break. They told us this area usually doesn't have problems. We have some flooding, but nothing you can't drive through typically. The water even made its way into part of St. Christopher Episcopal Church in League City. I haven't seen anything like this since Harvey. Part of the parish office will now need new carpets and floors, but Pastor Brian Kennedy put it all in perspective. We focus a lot on prayer and hope, and uh, we know that uh, the water's going to recede eventually, uh, and uh, we'll get back to work putting everything back together. While the last storm has cleared, he's now praying they'll escape any problems during the next round. And there were some vehicles out here in front of the restaurant at the time when all that water was moving through, but the owner told me that none of them were damaged. Reporting live, Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thanks.